JJ always does interesting things, and I think he takes a page out of the playbook of some of those great films that I grew up with in the 90s that Spiel and the 80s that Spielberg did. He's creating these wonderful worlds uh, with with magic and mysticism, but also with a uh, love of history. I, I've been equating this a lot to Indiana Jones and, and things like that because you have this very realistic world, but then this added bonus uh, that only J.J. can do. Tim is a bit of a hard-ass, smart-ass, loud mouth. Uh, he's a New York guy who thinks he uh, can win the war on his own, but he hasn't really seen any action. So when he gets dropped into D-Day, uh, he, he's confronted with a lot of obstacles that he uh, has to learn to overcome. Uh, he, everyone in this unit deals with their, their fear in a, in a unique way, in their own special way, and, and usually Tibbetts is to uh, bust chops. You have Boyce, who is, who is uh, the green guy, and he, he's very bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and he, he's, uh, he really wants to prove his worth as a soldier, uh, and he's certainly underestimated by everyone in the unit. Uh, then you have Ford, who's kind of the hard, uh, salty yeah, commander of the unit, uh, who, who's seen action, who's been through Italy, who knows the ropes, uh, and sort of guides us through it. You have Rosenfeld, who, who is, who's just kind of a sweetheart, lovable kind of sweet guy. Uh, and then you have Chase, who got thrown into this just sort of on a whim. He's a photographer, doesn't know anything about combat. Uh, he just wants to take pictures, and, and next thing you know, he's fighting off Nazis. If you're playing a soldier, especially a soldier from World War II, American, British, any Allied soldier, uh, I think it's really important to have an appreciation of what those guys went through. Uh, luckily, we had this boot camp with Sergeant Freddie Joe Farnsworth, who really kicked our asses. Uh, and he, he put us through a very abridged version of a boot camp, you know, humping along for, for miles in the heat, not a lot of water, a lot of physical exercise, staying up all night on fire watch, making sure no one snuck up on the camp. Um, uh, and just going through that, being with these strangers, you just and just you know anyone, you'd start to form a bond with these people because you're going through a, a rough experience together. So uh, being with these guys for the, that week of boot camp, uh, right away started us off um, bonding and started uh, started to throw us into our roles as the characters and started uh, us understanding how we would operate in the field and how we would uh, how we would approach this situation. It also gives you a huge appreciation for what our military goes through. The action stuff is always exciting. Today we're shooting a thing in the town where, you know, Nazis come in and we're shooting them up and they're shooting at us. And, and uh, it's always fun to be a part of those, uh, those action sequences. It, tests, it pushes you as an actor because it's really physical, but it's also really exciting to watch on screen. So, so when you're doing it and and you know, blasts are going off, and buildings are falling apart, and people are getting shot. It, it's you know that it's going to be an exciting moment. You know the audience is going to really have a fun time with that. The boot camp really prepared us for that jump scene. Uh, and again, we, they had this amazing fuselage built to scale uh, of the real plane that these guys were jumping out of. Um, it's close quarters. It's very difficult to shoot in. Uh, it was hot. And it, w it was tough, and thank God we went through the boot camp because it, it made, made it so none of us were <laughs> being actors who were complaining about it. We all just grit our teeth and got through it. Mark Smith, our writer on this, I think he found a good balance of that. I think he found a lot of humanity in the characters and in the storytelling, and he, uh, he worked it out in a way that you, you, you hopefully you understand these guys and you, and you have, uh, you know, a care for them but but you also understand what they're going through and why they have to do the things they do. He has a good eye for balancing uh, drama and action. First of all Julius has a great passion for film. Uh, he has a deep appreciation for uh, the genres that influence this film. Uh, films of the 80s and 90s, films of people like James Cameron and uh, and uh, Ridley Scott and uh, Spielberg, um, which I think this film takes a lot of influence from. Um, he, he knows that stuff like the back of his hand. 
and he really has an eye for it. So someone telling that kind of unique story, which isn't told a lot nowadays, I think Julius is the guy to do it. He has such a love for it. He has such an eye for the action, uh, but he also appreciates this era. I think their journey is a lot of uh, a lot of shocks, a lot of scares, also a lot of excitement, and uh, a lot of fun at the end of it.